Kanye and Adidas is taking a little step away from the earth tone colorway. As we could tell, today here we have the new Yeezy 700 High Res Red. What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Stinkers and Chris, I'm back here with another shoe review for you guys here today. And as well, we do have an unfoot, so make sure you tune in throughout the whole video so you guys can see how these babies look on foot. As that, if you guys do enjoy this video at the end, please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, join the family if you haven't yet. We're almost there. We're almost close to 2K. We're going to reach it pretty soon. I'm pretty excited. Thank you guys for all the support and mad love you guys have been giving me. If you guys want to stay connected with me, my socials will be on the screen and down below in the description box. I do have my own clothing brand, so if you guys want to support that, a like and a follow will come a long way. The Instagram is tapping through a five website, W www.tappingthrough5.com and as of right now you guys will be seeing a little clip of what i do have in store for my clothing brand and of course it's summer so we're gonna have a summer drop pretty soon so make sure you tune in through that as well but south and dallas diving straight into these 700s and with the box as we always do we have a regular typical 700 box and brown with the wording in black 700 written right here on this side you have boost right here and black this side you have easy boost 700 made by adidas with adidas um logo right here this side is blank let me take you to the side of the label. Uh, and so picture after this clip so you guys can see the label clearer. And I'll also read it for you guys. It says Yeezy Boost 700, this is a size 10 and a half. Um, the code is HQ6979. Um, and it is um, high red, high red, high red, three times top and, um, yeah, three times top and bottom. Originals one time top and bottom, made in China. So now that we're done with the box, let's jump straight into the shoe and talk about some details. So first off, I just want to say that this shoe released today, Friday, June 17, at retail of 260. Let me give you guys a close look so you guys can see how these look actually in hand. Um, this is how it looks. You got a quick 360 right quick before we dive into the colors. So majority of the shoe you guys can tell is that bright red on top. But you do have a mixture of different colorways. That's how usually our 700 is. You have like a grayish on, on the toe box right here. And uh, the material is a suede material. And you do have some different colors on the mesh. Like you have like a darker, I'll say darker gray right here on the mesh. Um, you do have um, a black colorway right here. Um, that's also um, suede. Um, you do have like a, I'll say a burgundy um, red right here on this mesh part. And you have a black part right here. And you have kind of like a teal colorway going on right here in your midsole. The majority of midsole is like a darker red, like a burgundy colorway. Of course, you have your signature orange on your midsole as well in the back, the two right here on both sides. And then you do have the laces actually in kind of like a burgundy colorway as well, kind of matching this colorway in the midsole. I do kind of like the way they did it. The laces kind of go with the midsole. I think it looks nice, not making everything all red. But one thing did change with the 700s, we do have infinite laces. know about the infinite laces basically laces that you can't tie if you want to get rid of this lace you got to cut it all the way off they do give you they, they do provide you with extra laces they put it in your box and this is how it looks it should come in a packet like that but it's how the um the extra laces is you could tie it regular with the extra laces just keep this lace on if you don't mind at all i think it's a pretty cool feature i don't think anybody should change it but again it's up to you and your decision but then you have the rest of the tongue and that mesh material in all red all red going down and then you do have you do have some more darker like burgundy red right here and then you have some suede material in the back in black and then going to the back you have some more red and overall like i said majority of the upper is red the whole inside of the shoe is red behind the tongue red inside of the shoe red and you do see the yeezy and the sustainability logo right here right here it means that these yeezys are recycled it was made with recycled material and it will also tell you on these tags
But besides that, let's go into the outsole of the shoe. You have the outsole in the pure red, and then you do have the Adidas right here. As you guys can see, you, you can see through the um the um the outsole, you guys can see the boost material right here in white. You know, we usually have boost material on our 700 V1s. Now that we done with the detail, let's dive in straight to sizing just in case you guys don't know what size to go for. And I recommend going through the size for these 700s. And as well, um, Adidas and Confirm do recommend going through the size. I'll insert the screenshot in this video so you guys can see that Confirm does recommend going through the size. And I believe true to size is perfectly fine. These type of Yeezys are not one of those Yeezys that you need to go full size up or half size up. In my opinion, I feel like true to size is fine. But if you if you do want some extra room, just a little, I'll say go half. But I don't think you have to go full size up. Going through the size or half up is perfectly fine. Personally, my true size is size 10, but sadly, I was not able to get a size 10. I had to go to a 10 and a half. All right, guys, so now that we're done with sizes, let's dive in straight to rating and talk about our honest opinion about the shoe. So firstly, I'm going to start first, and then I'll figure a comment below what you guys think. So honestly, I'm a big fan of these. The colorway, the way it came out, it looks pretty nice. And in hand, it looked way better. So definitely for my rating, I'll give these a nine and a half for my rating. I think they're pretty nice and pretty clean. Like I said, the, the colorway, it looks pretty nice. I like the way they combine the different shades of red, different shades of gray and black. With the till, it looks pretty nice. And with that orange hit, it always looks pretty nice on 700s. So definitely, I'll definitely say this one is a must cop. If you're a big Yeezy fan, if you love 700s, this one you gotta have in your collection because these are fire. And eventually, later on down the line, these are gonna be very hot in demand. So take advantage if you guys could get these because I feel like they're worth the price. Um, and it's worth getting them. It's pretty nice. All right, guys. So that's much for this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys enjoyed the unfold, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, join the family if you haven't yet. Again, guys, thank you guys for all the support and mad love you guys have been showing me. It's Snickers and Chris. I'm out. I'll catch you guys in the next one.